Top 10 Most Powerful Military Off-Road Vehicles Off-road vehicles are a popular mode of transportation for both civilians and military personnel. They can be lightly or heavily armored, depending on the range of tasks performed, but their main goal is to quickly move to the point of confrontation with the ability to fire from within the vehicle. So in this video, we will discuss about the top 10 most powerful military off-road vehicles. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 10, AMZ TUR-6. AMZ TUR-6 at the 2018 year MSPO Defense and Security Show in Kyoto. The Polish vehicle company AMZ located in Kutino unveiled a new light armor patrol vehicle named TUR-6. The TUR-6 was expressly intended to conduct various types of security operations. Particular missions like peacekeeping, convoy escort, EOD ambulance, and urban or border patrol with its small arm 762 by 51 mm caliber level 1 protective armor. The vehicle protects against IEDs, all small arms hand grenades, and fragmentation. Both remote and manual weapon systems can be carried by the TUR-6. The internal architecture of the TUR-6 is meant to accommodate a 10-person crew, including the pilot and commander. Number 9. AM General BRVO the AM General BRVO Blast Resistant Vehicle Off-Road is a multi-rolled vehicle designed and manufactured by the American corporation AM General for the GLTV Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Program for the United States Army to replace the GLTV Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Humvees are a type of light tactical vehicle. The Bravo is a general vehicle that has a normal layout with the engine at the front and a crew compartment in the middle. A crew capsule and modular armor have already proven effective in government-supervised explosion tests in the Bravo's cargo room. The Bravo is the General's first trial variant that comes with an armored glass open-top turret that can be outfitted with a 762 or 127 mm machine gun or an automatic grenade launcher. The Bravo is powered by a six-speed transmission and lightweight optimizer 3200 diesel engine. Number 8. Enoch the Enoch Light Armor Patrol Vehicle is Bundeswehr's armored military vehicle primarily used by the German Army. It is a greatly improved Wolf SSA based on the Mercedes-Benz G-Class and offers protection against rifle fire and ground mines according to NATO Standard AG 4569 Level 2. The vehicle comes in two versions, a five-door version with a completely armored crew and cargo compartments, and a four-door version with an armored crew compartment but an unprotected rear body structure. A 762mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher can be mounted on the vehicle. The largest variant can accommodate up to five passengers, not including the driver. Number 7. Polaris MRZR4 the Polaris MRZR4 is a highly mobile, multi-configurable off-road vehicle from Polaris Industries' MRZR line of vehicles. Even in the most challenging terrains, the vehicle can be quickly deployed on operations. The MRZR vehicles are currently in use by the U.S. military. The vehicle seats four troops and can accommodate up to six infantrymen when fitted with two optional rearward-facing seats on the cargo bed. The vehicle has a dry weight of 852.8 kilograms and can carry a maximum payload of 680.4 kilograms when fitted with two optional rearward-facing seats on the cargo bed. The engine is a Polaris ProStar four-stroke dual overhead camshaft twin-cylinder engine with a displacement of 875 cubic centimeters. The vehicle's engine allows it to reach a max speed of 96 kilometers per hour. Number 6. Kia LTV the Kia LTV is a light military tactical utility vehicle produced by Kia Motors in South Korea. It went into full production in 2016 and entered service with the Republic of Korea Army the following year. A single cab model is also available. The basic four-door form can carry one driver and three passengers. Both single and double cab types can benefit from modular components. Both regular and armored models are available, with the armored model offering additional protection such as bulletproof windshields and composite door glass panels. Weapons such as manually operated canopy weapon mounts or remote-controlled weapon systems can be mounted on the roof opening, including mine-protected flooring, blast-absorbing seats, and gunner-protective armor. 
Weapon mounts could be for 7.62 mm or 12.72 mm machine guns, 40 mm automatic grenade launchers, or anti-tank missiles. Number 5. Hunter TR-12 the Hunter TR-12 is a multi-purpose infantry mobility vehicle meant to transport troops to risky regions. It was designed and constructed for the Colombian Army by Armor International and can hold up to 12 soldiers. The chauffeur, the Hunter TR-12, is excellent for high-risk locations prone to confrontations and ambushes because it provides great protection against weapons and rifles. As with all current combat vehicles, the Hunter TR-12's armor provides protection level B6. The Hunter TR-12 can be outfitted with a single ring mount armed with 762mm or a 12.7mm machine gun. A Hunter TR-12 is equipped with a 4x4 off-road chassis that allows the vehicle to reach isolated and difficult-to-reach locations. Number 4. Dozer B Dozor B is a 4x4 light armor vehicle created and constructed by Kharkiv Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau in Ukraine. Three crew members and eight military men can be transported in the vehicle. The Dozer B series comes in a variety of configurations, including an armored personnel carrier and an armored automobile NBC. The Dozer B's steel armor provides protection against small weapons fire. Bullets with an armor-piercing diameter of 762 millimeters, B-32. The vehicle's floor is built of unique steel that provides mine explosion protection equivalent to a half a kilogram of TNT. The Dozer B has a remote weapon station on the front top of the hull that may be armored with either an NSVT or a KT-127 millimeter heavy machine gun. Number 3. Tardak ULV Tardak ULV, Ultra Light Vehicle Research Prototype, is a fundamental technology development and integration initiative that aims to discover new out-of-the-box technologies and produce a survivability demonstration vehicle. The goal of the project is to fund research and development of lighter weight armor options, as well as unique blast mitigating technologies that could inform or support future modernization and development initiatives. The ULV prototype chassis has a hybrid powertrain with two electric motors in the front and rear, each capable of powering the vehicle. The vehicle that provides mobility redundancy, Tardak, located in the Detroit Arsenal in Warren, Michigan, houses the whole program. Tardak reports directly to the U.S. Army's Research, Development, and Engineering Command. Number 2. Dagor Dagor is a purpose-made ultralight combat vehicle designed and constructed by Polaris Defense, a Polaris Industries business, to suit the light mobility requirements of light infantry and special operations forces. In support of expeditionary activities, the new combat vehicle can transport a maximum weight of more than 14,000 kilos or up to nine infantrymen. The Dagor Ultra Light Fighting Vehicle can be equipped with several pintle mounts to house machine guns and can carry up to 48 weapons in the armaments ring. The front component of the Dagger Combat Vehicle is powered by a lightweight commercial off-the-shelf turbo diesel engine that delivers enough power to allow outstanding off-road mobility in all-terrain circumstances. Number 1. RG Outrider Bay Systems designed and built the RG Outrider a wheeled armored utility vehicle. The RG Outrider can handle most missions that require a lot of payload or capacity, as well as a lot of crew survivability. The RG Outrider base systems provide protection against IED mines under wheels at level 2A and 2B under center the hollow. The RG Outrider also provides protection against small guns firing 762 by 39 mm armor piercing rounds. The RG Outrider Bay Systems can be equipped with a one-man turret mounted with a 762mm or 12.7mm machine gun. The RG Outrider Bay Systems are powered by a Stayer turbocharged intercooled engine. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.